everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. I have a few things to just share with you. There's nothing major, but I did finish the hat. This is what the hat's supposed to look like when it's done. It's adorable. It'll fit a young child's head. Look how pretty it is. Isn't that pretty? And I, I followed the pattern that Pamela's adoring crochet had. And this hers is um, pink and white. Hers is pretty. Hers is real pretty. But it looks like this. Only it's a different color. That was really pretty. That you can have. Actually, I probably shouldn't put it on the heater, huh? I have a heater on in here because I'm cold. <laughs> <laughs> Those of you that were saying it's 90 degrees. It's not 90 degrees here. It's like 55, I think. But it's chilly. It's not a very warm and um, warm out. Um, in fact, they, the weatherman, I can go to the weather, I, was, I, I brought my notebook in because I was going to try to cut, hit these, these points. Um, the weatherman is telling us that we're 10 degrees lower than what we should be, so instead of 55, we should be about 65 or better. Because we've been known to be as high as 80 at this time of the year, but this year is a very cold year. And they're predicting a possible frost or even snow. Not now. And I forgot to tell you all, on the 4th of May, I forgot to say, may the 4th be with you. My daughter was here that day, and I should have remembered because she kept saying it, but I had forgotten all about that. And um, she goes, it's, she kept saying it's Star Wars Day, Star Wars Day, because they used to say, may the 4th be with you. Well, it was the 4th of May, so that would have been it. Okay, I'm going to share with you some of the chickens, I'll do that right here. I was thinking I hadn't seen Mama in a long time, so I thought I better come out and check where she is. Oh, there's the babies. Maybe she's inside. Oh, there you are. Well, hello there, little ones. I'm coming, but I'm not bringing anything but a camera. Gotta lock the door. There you are. I was worried about you. I didn't know, I hadn't seen you in such a long time. And I was wondering where you were. You're in here. Well, oh look. Silver Fox, are you still in a box? And your babies are there too, see? And there's Silver Fox, she's, oh, and there's the little black one. Yes, you're the little black one. And one of my buffs. Let's see what's going on inside. Oh, it's just Emma. There were others in here because there's an egg in that one nesting box. And is there an egg in that other one? Oh, look at there's a lot of eggs in that other one. There's three at least. And one there. Okay. We'll have to gather eggs. Well, I am so glad that you're fine there. Dorothy, how does that taste? Do you like the... I brought you some vegetable soup that was kind of old. Yeah, you're eating it and you're telling your babies that it's good for you. Let's eat it. Look at you. I have a feeling two of you are boys at least. And the reason I'm saying that, if you notice their tails, this one's got a very short tail, the little black one. She's pretty. This one's got a longer tail. Oh, it's by their tails right now. I don't see any redness on their faces. They're still too young for that. Off we go. Follow your mama. Hey, mama left. There you go. You too. Scoot, scoot. You're so pretty. Look at the coloring on it. It's a shame that that's probably a boy, but it probably is that little, this little white one right here. White and black. I think you're a boy. I hate to say. And this little black one here, I think it's a girl. Whoops, you guys are moving. Oh, where are you going? Look at this, how they get outside. You're not supposed to go through that fence. Shame on you. 
I will get you back in. Oh, actually, you're coming in by yourself. I'll go out, and they'll come in. Your mama's calling you. You better go back in. Listen, you babies. You get back in. Shoo, 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 shoo. Okay. And, and back in they go. Well, it's a little chilly out here today. It's a better day as far as brightness goes, but it's a it's chilly. Here come some of my other girls. Here they come running. But you look funnier when you run real fast. You're not running fast. You're just kind of trotting. Look how big they are. They're so fluffy. People wonder if they're cold in the in the winter. With that down coat, I don't think so. Then they tuck their head underneath their wings so that they keep their crown on their head nice and and warm from freezing and they sit on their feet to keep them from freezing. Well, let's gather those eggs that I saw. We'll take them and not put them away. Hi, Emma. This is my pocket. I'll take that egg. Before, when she was broody the other time, she used to puff up really fast as soon as you open the door. Now she's doing, she's actually nicer. She must be getting nice in her old age. Your waddle still has got color. That's good, because usually she gets so pale. I'm glad to see that you've still got color. Okay. And are we still over here? Everybody still in here? Let me see. Oh, yes. There's the babies. You never leave your mom alone. And you're, you're the one that the rooster likes a lot because you've got feathers missing from your head. Are you going to get up? Oh, you're just sitting there? You're not giving me any eggs? I bet you you're doing the same thing. Oh, my goodness. Sitting there and not giving me anything. I got a little worried about the Mama Dorothy. I didn't see her for a while. I saw her when I fed the chickens this morning, and then every time I looked out, I couldn't see her. And um, I noticed that Silver Fox was on the other side of the neighbor's driveway, and her babies were inside the fence. They were peeping. Apparently, they can't make it through the fence anymore. At least they couldn't today. But earlier today, they were out. I don't know how they got out because they sure couldn't get out this afternoon unless they grew a little bit. I don't think so. But I was at the computer um, answering my comments, and I see this something going back and forth, back and forth. And I looked out, and here's Silver Fox looking in the sliding glass door at me. So I went out, and I opened the door, and she and her babies went in. Um, I also want to say thank you to Boon Child. She once again cooked something that was really interesting and easy and tasty. I cooked it too. She did hers on the stove and I put mine in the crock pot and we enjoyed it. Was it good, yes. Jim? Yes, it was very good. Thank you, Boone. <laughs> <laughs> I hope she cooks something good tomorrow so that I can have something good to make. I don't know what she'll... If it's a dessert, I won't be making it. But if it's something that is easy... And I have all the stuff that she had. In fact, I added. She had mentioned that she could possibly that you could put spinach in there. So I ran downstairs and got a can of spinach and threw that in too. And um, what else did I put in? I she had she had vegetables, but I didn't have any vegetables. So so I put a can of um, vegetarian vegetable soup in it. But I also my soup is so old that there was a can downstairs that was starting to go bad. And so I opened when I opened it. I go, oh, this is good for the chickens. So I gave it to the chickens, and the chickens devoured it. They like whatever I give them. So that didn't go to really go to waste. It went to the chickens instead. I think I've covered everything. I did the hat, which was Pamela's adoring crochet. So if you want to learn how to crochet, she goes through it very slow and very, very nice, actually. If you know how to single crochet and double crochet, you'll you'll know how to do her stuff. And Boon Child for her cooking, I will put that link into you so you can find the, the dinner that I had tonight. 
It was really good. And the weather, well, you can look out your window, look out your window <laughs> to see your weather. Your weather is different than my weather. I'm sure it's better. And today is not the fourth, but may the fourth be with you anyways. <laughs> and that's it for today. I hope you have a great night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.